Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and also welcome to those of you joining from my channel over on Forbes as well. And uh, today I'm going to be talking all about Intel's new R0 stepping of its ninth generation processors. So what does the new stepping actually give us? Well, we're not entirely sure yet, but in the past, if you're an old timer like me, you'll probably remember back to 2007 when uh, Intel launched the G0 stepping of the uh, Core 2 Q6600, I think I've got that right. And uh, it offered, you know, much, much better overclocking than the previous generation of, uh, or previous stepping, should I say, of that CPU. And uh, what it means is that we could expect better overclocking from something like the 9900K. Nothing's been confirmed yet. It might just mean slightly higher frequencies, slightly higher boosting frequencies, lower voltages, or just better silicon, or even better overclocking. We're just not sure yet. So something that I have uncovered, though, is, uh, and this is a bit of a warning to anybody that is going to be using one of these new CPUs, and that is that MSI, motherboard manufacturer MSI, has told me that the new stepping, the R0 stepping, will cause your PC to crash in Windows 10 if you do not update its BIOS. If you're using a pre-R0 BIOS, the new BIOS uh, versions are available next week, I believe, around the 2nd of April, they will cause crashing in Windows 10, which is obviously a big concern. So if you're planning on buying one of these new uh, stepping CPUs, the R0 stepping, which is gonna be available soon, you will need to make sure that you update your BIOS. Now, thankfully, the story does have a bit of a happy ending because it means that if you buy one of the new R0 stepping CPUs, this isn't one, by the way, I'm just using this as, as an example, otherwise I would have tested this myself, but MSI has told me, or at least led me to believe that you will be able to put the CPU into your motherboard, the new CPU that is, the R0 stepping CPU, into an older motherboard with an old BIOS, and you will be able to boot into the EFI and update it with, the, with one of the new uh, R0 compatible BIOS versions. So that is great news because it means that you will be able to update it, unlike previous instances that we've seen with both AMD and Intel, where you've had to borrow a friend's uh, older CPU to update your bio, your motherboard's BIOS so you can use one of the new ones. Well, that's not what's happening here. It's going to be much, much easier than that. The, at worst, you'll have to just dive into the EFI and update your BIOS. Of course, if, this, if your new PC is the only thing that you've got to actually get online, you've got a bit of a problem there. But most of us these days have got some other way of getting online and downloading that BIOS, whether it's a laptop or a friend's PC or something like that. So, yeah, it's not, it's not a massive issue, but just be aware of the fact that using one of the new CPUs will result in crashing Windows 10 if you're not using an up-to-date BIOS on your motherboard. So that's it from me. You can check out my link uh, below to the article on Forbes with a bit more information about which CPUs are going to feature the R0 stepping. But for now, the, you can basically boil this video down to new CPUs coming with a new stepping, we're not entirely sure what the stepping means, but it could offer benefits to overclocking, that kind of thing, we're not entirely sure yet, but you'll need to be aware that the using a new CPU in an old motherboard with a, or specifically with an old BIOS that, doesn't, that isn't R0 compatible could result in crashing Windows 10, that's what MSI has told me. So that's it from me, I hope this video has been useful, so don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon.